hello friends welcome back to a new video guys how are you all doing today hope you're all generally fine guys so you can see this is um, a crop blazer and a high waist palazzo um trouser okay or short pants so that's what i'm going to be showing you today i'll be showing you how to make this high waist palazzo short pants or you can call this a three-quarter length palazzo short pants you want to see this let's dive into it guys yeah so here of course is the print and i have my tools alongside okay yes guys so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and lay my fabric on the table so we could get started so here i'm going to be cutting out for the front part first okay yeah so the length of this um, short pants is going to be 27 okay yeah but i'm going to add extra three inches of um allowance i'll be using to fold it or the lowest part and also you know we'll be using 0 0.5 inches to join it to the band okay which will make it the high waist okay yeah so at the end i'll have 30 inches so moving forward now I'll start by marking out from the top point which will represent my waistline i'll mark nine inches for of my hip line then the next is going to be my crotch depth so for my crotch depth i will use um the biggest circumference of so which is the hip in this case divided by four the hip circumference is at eight divided by four that's 9.5 then i'll go ahead and add um two or 2.5 inches to it but we're adding 2.5 inches to each which makes it what 12 inches so that is going to be my crotch depth okay yeah so from the waist 12 inches for my crotch depth and that's just basically the what we need here the waist um, line the hip line and the crotch line okay yeah so it's going to be a palazzo of course so there's no need of putting um, the new um, line there okay yes guys so that's it now so before i start marking i would like to give my uh, trouser the shape okay the side shape so on that lowest part i'm moving upward by one inches you can see me marking that down then coming to the top part i'll go inwards by what 0 0.5 inches 0 0.5 inches on the top one inches on the lowest point so these two points now i'll connect them what to the hip line so this is automatically going to give me my uh, my side shape there so you can see me marking that down from the top to the hip line and from that lowest point also what to the hip line so here i'll have my shape so from here now after that every other measurement i'll be taking will be starting from the lines okay yes so that's just it you can see um our curve shape is out there now the first thing i'm going to measure now is uh, my waistline the waist circumference is 28 if i divide it by four i'll have seven inches okay seven inches i'll go ahead and mark my seven inches down I'll mark my seven inches down then i'm going to be um putting a seam allowance there i'll put a seam allowance of 2.5 inches so i'm going ahead to mark that down as well then on my hip line the hip circumference is um 38 divided by 4 9.5 marking that down as well i'm also going to add the seam allowance of what 2.5 inches as well then on the crowd line there i'll just extend what i have on my hip line to that point there I will extend it so on that crotch um, line there now now go up by two inches to help me create my crotch effect there so two inches there so from there i'll create my curve to the hip line okay to get my my crotch there so you can see this it's as easy as that so that's just it so i'll go ahead now and connect it from that um, hip line all the way upward to the waistline okay yes guys so after that now from the cross line there i'll just mark all the way straight down remember it's a palazzo if it was going to be all fitted then i will need to fix in my you know my round new circumference you know but there's no need for that so i'll just take it straight down or if you want it you can also measure 11 11 inches is moderate for a palazzo effect okay 11 inches is moderate okay 11 inches upwards so but i'm marking taking my from from that um, crush line all the way straight down if you still want it to be widen enough you can still stretch it upwards okay more like uh, as if you're trying to create an a-line shape yeah so that's just it here guys going ahead to cut out everything here so our front piece is ready you can see these guys moving forward now we'll go ahead and cut for the back piece so here is the piece i'm using for my back piece now just go ahead and lay my front piece over it yeah but before that i need to create uh, that slant effect on the center piece of my front so i'm just going inward by 0 0.5 which you know the center of the front will be deeper in 
so i'm doing that um 0 0.5 inches so i'm just connecting it to the edge of the sides there so you can see this now but i'll be cutting it off much later okay yeah so i'll go ahead and place it to the back piece now so um for my dart now to create my dart line there i'm going to come out by one inches from the sides of that my phone you can see marking that one inches then i'll take it all the way to the hip line okay yeah so after that now there's nothing there so the every other part now will just follow the same you know shape okay yes guys so this that is um specifically for the back so um for this one um i'm not going to be putting a dart for the front actually but it's optional if you want you can put your dart there yeah but i'm not going to really be putting a dart um for the front piece there yeah so on that um crotch line for the back there i'm just extending it to two inches then every other part i'm extending it to, to one inches you can do 1.5 you can even do the same two inches okay depends on what you want but i'm just using one inches there you can see just following the exact same shape okay there's nothing um extra here at all two inches on the crotch line there then one inches on every other side just following the same shape that's exactly what we're doing here you can see these guys yeah we're almost done here now so the next thing i'm going to do now is to now create also for the back i'm going to move upward by about 1.5 inches remember for the front we already rule that 0 0.5 inches inward will be cutting off but for the back i'm going up by 1.5 inches because the back is going to be higher than the front okay yeah so from that point i'll also connect it what to the edge there okay so you can see this guys believe it or not we're done here we're done so we're just going ahead what to cut everything out guys if you've not liked this video at this point what are you waiting for guys please go ahead and smash the like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't okay and also remember to turn your notification bells okay so this helps get notified every time i upload my weekly videos thank you so much guys so i'm just indicating that that point okay so using the boss pan of a divided by two i'm just going ahead to notch it yeah i'll just notch it so and also trimming out that center for the front there going ahead to notch the dart line there okay and also for the back so if you're sewing your dart you can just sew um five inches downward okay yeah five inches downward yeah so i'll go ahead now and sew the crotch for the back and also for the front that's what i'll do now yeah so here i've gone ahead to sew my crotch line you can see this is for the back piece and also for the front piece so mind you for the one for the back piece i'm still going to be loosening it later on because it's going to have a zipper there okay i'll be doing that much later but concentrating on the front now i want to indicate um, the pocket line now so i'm moving inwards there by 2.5 inches then the length of my um, the pocket opening seven inches okay 2.5 by 7 i've actually done um several videos on how to create um you know short pants and also a separate video on creating the pocket so i'm just repeating this more like you know just to do this again i actually have this even linked up in the description box okay yes guys so for more details you can also go ahead and see that so here it is for the pocket um, effect then the main pocket itself i'm using this piece of fabric i have here yeah so what i have here i have about 16 inches by 10 inches okay and i have it doubled for the two representing for the two sides pocket there so if you notice right side is facing each other very very important right side is facing each other okay now taking note of that i'll go ahead and impute the same um cut out i did for the main trouser pan there 2.5 inches by 7 inches i'm going to be indicating that i'll also go ahead with and cut that out again i'll be doing it on the other end but let's still move on you understand what i'm saying so you can see i've cut that part out now bring back the main piece there for the pan trouser i'll go ahead and lay it on each side this time around making sure what that the right side facing each other right so by doing that you know the one that matches with the other so you can see this now yeah so when you place it you know which one matches to the other when right side is facing each other so you can see this now so what i will do now following that same shape i'll just go ahead and sew so i'm using my pin now at this point to hold that down yeah so after that now in order to create that main pocket effect we need to push this inward to align 
okay, on that pocket line. So that is why I said I'm going to be still marking that same shape again at the end. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the same process of 2.5 inches and 7 inches in length. Okay, so the only thing here is that we are not cutting this particular one out. So we're just marking that line there just to give us a guide, okay? Now that I have it all lined up like that, then I will now bring back the pocket itself after sewing it you see what i'm doing just push it inwards and let it stop at that line that we have just marked out you can see this now guys that's just it's as easy as that then go ahead and what stitch it at the top there and also by the sides there so once you're able to stitch it there then you turn it um to the back and you see that opening there you will now sew you sew it and cover it up it's as easy as that we've just created our pocket like i said for a more detailed and elaborate one you can watch the video i have it linked up in the description box on how to make a pocket pan trouser okay yes guys and that's it guys i've gone ahead to do that for the two sides you see i've done ahead to fix my pocket you can see this you can see how the inside look very important clean up the edges as well you can see this for my front piece i can see the center there it's not straight okay so it's time to fix the the band now the high waist band so i'm just measuring what i have there that's about 17.5 inches so this piece of fabric i'll fold it into two doubled right I'll measure what I have there as well. I have about um, the same shape, um, 17.5 there about there, okay? Then I'll fold it into two. Remember that um, the front piece of the pants is not... Um, straight okay now the call the width i'm using for this band is going to be four inches okay four inches but i'll now add 0 0.5 inches making it 4.5 so this depends on if you want to make yours lesser you can do 3.5 can also do three inches but whatever you choose to do add 0 0.5 inches to it so that that's what you use to sew it to the main pant itself so i'm just going inwards at that edge okay so this is just to give it that slant effect right yeah because you see the front part there like i said it was not straight right yeah so in order to create that effect i will now go inwards by 0 0.5 inches on the edge there then i'll take it to the edge point there okay there's nothing extra here at all yeah so but if you have much fabric you can just place um that um the front piece as well so it's an, also another way to you know mark that out okay yeah so just notching the center point you can see we have that slanted in was as easy as that guys so once you are placing it now it should be well you know relax as well you can see these guys yeah so that's just it so but before that i'll also apply my interfacing to it i'll be applying my interfacing before attaching it to the front piece okay yes so that's just it we just go ahead place it on the center point there and sew it to the other end okay yes guys so that's it there then for the back piece this one is not slanted it's straightened okay so i'll also use the same band just the same process just that i'm not cutting out anything because it is straightened here okay yeah so i'll also go ahead and use the same width of four inches then 0 0.5 making it 4.5 then i'll go ahead and um you know mark that out so after that i'll also will be applying my interfacing just like i did for the other piece i'll apply my interfacing so this is just me cutting this out now so you can see this now matching up the center point as well so mind you here yeah, i've gone ahead to apply my um interfacing remember i said that the back piece i'll be slitting it open because of the zipper allowance okay so you can see i've gone ahead to open up the space where i'll be fixing my zipper now then for that um the band for the back i will have to also what slit it open as well okay yes guys you can see i'm going ahead to slit this open Okay, so I'll attach each one to the other part. But before doing that, remember we'll be fixing um, our dart there. Yeah, so just make sure you also what fix your dart first. See the dart points where you marked out. Just go ahead and sew it about um, five inches downwards. Yeah, just sew five inches downwards your dart. After that, iron it very well before attaching your band. So I'll go finish this up and here guys i've gone ahead to fix my band okay you can see this this is for the front and also um the back i'm done you can see the pocket and everything is in place you can see this for the 
for the back as well i've also gone ahead to attach my zipper you can see these guys and my dart is also in place guys we're almost done here so once you have this in place what i'll do now is just to place um the back piece over the front piece okay having in mind that the back is wider than the front okay yes so we'll go ahead and sew just match it up sew about one inch depending on the um, seam allowance you have left so it's after sewing it straight down then you match up the crotch okay you can see make sure that the crotch are matching each other then you sew from that point down and also to the other end as well after that just go ahead and fold the hemming allowance on the lowest part and guys this palazzo short pad is ready it's as easy as that i'll go finish this up guys you see how this looks and here it is guys i've gone ahead to do all the so you can see our short pant is ready this is looking all beautiful guys i'm loving this so much this is looking so beautiful you can see how this so what this really needs now is a very very good press guys just a very good press and this is good to go that is it guys on how to make this beautiful high waist palazzo short pant thank you guys for joining me today we've come to the end of today's tutorial if you find this helpful please don't forget to like my video share and also subscribe see you on the next one. Bye.